The grocery store is not a fun place to be these days. Lines are long and some necessary items are scarce. So how do we make perishable foods last longer? Mm -hmm. We took some questions to UH registered dietitian Stephanie Hopkins. First up, what is the best way to extend the life of fresh produce? Stephanie. Wrap your top of bananas with plastic wrap to help prevent them from going brown so quickly. If you have fresh berries at home, lay these out on a plate in a single layer, cover, and keep them in the fridge. If you have bags of salad greens, place a paper towel in the bag to help absorb any extra moisture so your lettuce doesn't get slimy. Finally, only wash produce as you need it. Interesting. Okay. I'd heard the one about putting the towel in the bag of lettuce be before. I, I haven't. It absorbs that moisture and keeps it fresher And the fresher whole single a layer on the plate thing. <clears throat> I hadn't heard that. <laughs> you know, Not in our house. We just keep it in the container. <laughs> wash it in the container. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you want them to last. Things change, apparently. That's All right. What you well, do. we also <laughs> asked her what temperature should you set your freezer and hmm. fridge and why? To prevent the growth of bacteria on your food, safely check your freezer and refrigerator temperatures. Your refrigerator should be set at or below 40 degrees and your freezer should be set at zero degrees Fahrenheit. These temperatures will again prevent the growth of bacteria from forming on your food. All right. Now if you're anything like me, every time you've gone to the grocery store for the last few weeks, you've picked up a little extra roast or a ham. Yeah. Or some extra, you know, frozen veggies. So you're the veggies. reason there's no meat at the grocery store. No, not like binge buying, right. certainly. Right, just a little but, more than uh, normal. We all know now there's extra corned beef roasts uh, sitting at the store. <laughs> Throw them in the freezer. Yeah. You can use them as you need to over time. Very good. So, it's good stuff. Well, she also <clears throat> recommends organizing the fridge and freezer by grouping like foods together and putting the oldest foods in the front. That makes good sense. That's dangerous because then you really see how old some of the food is. Yeah, it can be a little long in there, but you got to use it. Yep.